Only eat foods that start with the letter M? I could try. To kick off my M food tour, I got the most insane maple donut and an ice mocha. For lunch, I decided to get one of my favorite mac and cheeses. It's actually gluten-free and you would never know. Staying on my M grind, my snacks were mango, matcha, and a muffin. For dinner, I found a place called House of Meatballs, so I went there and got some meatballs and they were pretty good. And to end my day, I got a McFlurry from McDonald's. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for naming me Matt and not Zebra. Ask Siri what I should eat for breakfast and lunch. Okay. Hey Siri, where should I go get breakfast? One possibility is 26 Beach Restaurant. Is that the one you're looking for? I guess. I let Siri take the wheel and she took me to this restaurant that I hadn't ever heard of before, but the vibes were incredible. I literally just picked the first thing on the menu and next thing I knew was I had a massive French toast breakfast sandwich sitting in front of me. I've never wanted to hug Siri more. That is amazing. However, once I got to the end, I realized that I may have taken a little bit overboard because I had never felt so sick. Only eat pumpkin flavored things. I've been waiting for this one. Turn it up! To kick off my day of pumpkin eating, I got a pumpkin cold brew, a pumpkin spice latte, and a pumpkin muffin from Starbucks. I then made my way to Jamba Juice for a pumpkin smash smoothie. I let the real games begin when I went to the home of all things pumpkin, Trader Joe's, where I basically bought one of everything, including pumpkin bars, brownies, bagels, cream cheese, chips, pasta, oatmeal, cereal, pancakes, crackers, cookies, and soup. Now my kitchen is like the definition of squash goals. Only eat foods that start with the letter L for an entire day. Okay, let's do it. To make this challenge happen, I started my morning with a latte and a box of Lucky Charms. For lunch, I had a regular lemonade, a watermelon lemonade, and a bowl of lentil soup. For dinner, I got super fancy and got a lobster roll. I actually had never had lobster before, but I was very into this. To finish off the day, I went and got a lemon olive oil cake for dessert. And just like that, challenge completed. I'm glad I didn't take an L on this one. Only eat Halloween themed foods for the entire day. I think this may spook my stomach, but challenge accepted. To make this challenge happen, I said boo hoo with these spooky donuts for breakfast. For lunch, I was the opposite of a basic witch with this black bun burger. It was love at first bite. I then had a zombie brain boba and made my way to salt and straw for some ice cream. These flavors were insane. One even had chocolate covered crickets inside of it. To finish out the day, I said trick or treat with the cutest little Halloween macaroons. What did the mummy say when Halloween was over? That's a wrap. Good morning, TikTok. Today I'm letting your comments decide everything that I eat. First up is an iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts with almond milk and pumpkin swirl. Now, I've only tried Dunkin' Donuts coffee one time and I absolutely hated it, but I do like pumpkin, so I'm hoping that this can save the day. It's not that it's bad. It just tastes so artificial. It weirdly gives me hints of, like, nail polish remover. Ugh. Only eat sour foods for an entire day? I think I'm more of a sweets guy, but challenge accepted. To begin this day of sour eating, I had pancakes with melted warheads on top of them for breakfast. For lunch, I let the pain continue with a bowl of sour chicken. I then had a very mature and adult dinner with this sour pasta. To end the day, I had a scoop of sour cherry ice cream along with some classic sour candy. While the food was sour, I was sweet, and now the challenge is gone. Only eat foods that are under a dollar? On behalf of me and my wallet, Challenge accepted. Now, I thought this challenge was going to be easy until this happened. Do you have anything that is under a dollar? No. Uh, nope. Uh, no, you're not. Sorry. I was beginning to get very hangry, but then luckily I found two items from Taco Bell, and then I hit my jackpot when I found my first dollar menu at Del Taco. I'm not going to lie to you. This was not good at all, but it did the trick. For dinner, the luck continued when I found another dollar menu at Burger King. This challenge definitely helped my wallet, but for sure hurt my insides. Spend the day only eating foods that are the color white. This may be a weird day of eating. To kick off this challenge, I started my morning at Starbucks where I got a vanilla bean frappuccino, egg white bites, and a bagel with cream cheese. I then grabbed a vanilla yogurt from the farmer's market and mashed potatoes from KFC. For lunch, I went to a sushi restaurant and just asked the waitress to bring me any fish that was the color white. For dessert, I got a birthday cake Kit Kat, a vanilla cupcake, and coconut gelato with meringue bites on top. My poor stomach is so confused. Only eat rainbow colored foods for both breakfast and lunch? This will be a colorful day of eating. To kick off this challenge, I had a rainbow latte and a rainbow donut for breakfast. For lunch, I had one of the most insane things I've ever seen in my entire life, a rainbow pizza. It was so wild looking, but so delicious. Now for dessert, I thought I was just gonna have a cake pop, but then I ended up finding myself at the place that serves the infamous explosion cake. These cakes are definitely meant for a massive birthday party, but I just sat outside and ate it myself. Only eat peppermint flavored foods for an entire day? 
Tis the season, so challenge accepted. There was really only one way to start this challenge, and that was with a peppermint mocha and a peppermint mocha frappuccino. I then had my holiday dreams come true with this gingerbread waffle that was covered in peppermint bark. To maintain this sugar high, I had a box of peppermint pretzel snaps and a box of peppermint bark truffles. For dinner, I got very creative and made peppermint patty sandwiches with marshmallows. To end the day, I had a peppermint cupcake and a peppermint cookie, and now after all this sugar, my health is in mint condition. Only eat foods that start with the letter Z for an entire day. I have no idea how I'm gonna make this happen, but challenge accepted. Now, at first I thought I was just gonna spend the day eating zebra cakes, but then once I finished the first box, I started to feel really sick. So I knew I had to switch to zucchini, but I hate zucchini. Which meant I had to get creative. So I had zucchini french fries, zucchini pasta, and even zucchini chip. As a reward for all the zucchini, I then had something called a zeppoli, which was just fried dough and powdered sugar. Now my stomach needs a little break. It feels a little cray. Z. Eat only yellow foods for both breakfast and lunch. This will be fun. To kick off my day of yellow eating, I had eggs, lemonade, and french fries for breakfast. I then went to a place called Sugar Factory where I got emoji and banana candies and a giant duck lemonade. To balance out the sweets, I decided to get cheese fries and a quesadilla. This lunch was a perfect balance of both sweet and salty, and most importantly, it was all yellow. Only eat foods that start with the letter Q. I think this is going to be quite the challenge. So at first I thought I was going to be stuck eating Quaker Oats and Q-tips, but then I quickly realized that there was way more to this quest. For breakfast, I had a quiche and quinoa. For lunch, I went to one of my favorite spots and got queso and a quesadilla. Then for dinner, I decided to really quiz the strength of my stomach by ordering a quarter pounder. I'm not going to lie, it made me extremely queasy, but hey, it was an A to my Q. Only eat Mexican food for an entire day. Challenge accepted. Now this has been one of my most requested challenges, so I knew I really needed to send it today. To begin, I had huevos rancheros in a breakfast burrito. I then had tacos, chips, and salsa in a chicken tortilla soup. For dinner, I had these loaded chicken nachos and a burrito that was literally the size of a newborn baby. To finish up this challenge, I had churros along with Mexican wedding cookies that I dipped in Mexican hot chocolate for dessert. And now, if anybody needs me, I'm gonna be in the bathroom. Only eat food from the Dollar Tree. Okay. So this was actually my first Dollar Tree experience, and I had no idea that everything was actually only a dollar, and I also could not believe how many incredible things that they had. For breakfast, I got Frosted Flakes and Kool-Aid. For lunch, I got nachos and cheese dip. The cheese was a little bit concerning, but we're not going to talk about it. For dinner, I got ramen noodles. And for the grand finale, I found the most insane items for the dessert, including a freaking Krabby Patty. Honestly, call the cops, because this day of eating was a steal. Only eat neon-colored foods for an entire day. Challenge accepted. To make this challenge happen, I started my morning with neon egg whites and a snow cone. For lunch, I had a bowl with neon rice and red shrimp. Dinner was definitely my main event when I got to try this hot chicken sandwich that is served on a pink bun. It was a perfect balance of spicy and sweet, just like me. To finish off this challenge, it was time for dessert where I got this incredible rainbow cake and neon gelato. I really hope my future is as bright as my stomach after today. Only eat foods that are the color gold for the entire day. Challenge accepted. To begin my day of gold eating, I had a gold Belgian waffle for breakfast. The craziness then continued when I found this sparkly gold pizza for lunch. For dinner, I went full Kardashian by ordering myself a gold cocktail, gold sushi, and gold cookies. To finish off the day, I had a 24 karat gold chimney cone for dessert. I know I typically treat my stomach like a trash can, but I think today it struck gold. Today I'm gonna spend the day only eating different variations of potato. Wish me luck. To make this challenge happen, I started my morning with potato pancakes and hash browns. For lunch, I had Japanese sweet potatoes, potato chips, and delicious potato tacos. I then decided to treat myself to a nice dinner where I indulged in truffle fries and sweet potato gnocchi. Check back tomorrow to see if I look like this. Only eat avocados for an entire day. This may guac my world, but... Challenge accepted. At first, I thought I was going to be stuck eating normal avocados all day long, but not in 2020. For breakfast, I had three pieces of avocado toast and an avocado smoothie. For lunch, I had two stuffed avocados and avocado french fries. For my snacks, I had both guacamole and avocado hummus. Then to finish off the day, I had the most epic slice of an avocado salad pizza for dinner and an avocado boba for dessert. And now I think my stomach has officially hit guac bottom. Only eat frozen food for an entire day. Challenge accepted. At first I was a little scared to do this challenge, but then I decided to let it go with frozen egos and frozen mac and cheese. I then froze my insides by ordering 13 scoops of ice cream inside of this flower pot. After that, I needed to get cold and healthy, so I said burr with a head of iceberg lettuce. To reward myself for that healthy choice, I then had a delicious froze egg. And just like that, the challenge is done. I don't know what I was so afraid of. I mean, the cold never bothered me anyway.
Only eat sushi for the entire day? I can roll with that. To start my day of sushi eating, I had a sushi donut and a platter of sushi fruit. For lunch, I had a rainbow roll, and for dinner, I had the most epic box of sushi that included a hot Cheetos roll. For dessert, I had the cutest box of candy sushi that made me so happy. Today really was a rice day. Only eat food that starts with the letter C. Well, let's see if I can do this. To make this challenge happen, I started my morning with a coffee, a charcoal lemonade, and a cosmic chia pudding for breakfast. For lunch, I went with a cheeseburger, carne asada tacos, and a coconut smoothie. For dessert, I was going to just get chocolate, and then I found a chocolate-covered Twinkie. I need some alone time with this Twinkie, but I'll see you tomorrow. Only eat food that starts with the letter K. Okay. To prove that I could easily complete this challenge, I started my morning with a breakfast item called a catchy puri. I'm not sure if that's how it's actually pronounced, but it tasted delicious. After breakfast, I had a flight of kombucha, a kiwi popsicle, and a key lime pie. For lunch, I had kebabs and a Kit Kat. To end the day, I went and got a bag of kettle corn and a kale salad. I don't really love the taste of kale, so I decided to add the kettle corn on top of it, and then it tasted a-okay. Only eat chips for an entire day? Challenge accepted. This challenge comes at a perfect time because I've actually been very stressed recently about what I'm going to make for Christmas dinner. As you probably know, the only cooking I've ever done is inside of my car, and all I have inside of my house are these delicious chips. But that's why I decided to test some recipes. So first up, I made fish and chips. I then made a chip figure of myself for anyone who doesn't eat fish. I was going to try another recipe, but let's be honest, I'm just going to end up bringing a bag of Garden of Eden tortilla chips. Only eat foods that are the color brown. Challenge accepted. To kick off this challenge, I had bacon and pancakes for breakfast. These pancakes were spiritual. The butter melted into syrup. I then went and got a smoothie, nuts, and a cookie. And a frozen coffee inside of this little waffle cup. For lunch, I got brown rice, pinto beans, and chicken. And for part one of my dessert, I got cornflake ice cream and milk bar pie. Then for dessert part two, I got a Belgian waffle that was dipped in milk chocolate. Well, after everything I ate today, I'm pretty sure that my toilet will be eating brown tonight too. Only eat vegan food for a whole day? Challenge accepted. To kick off this challenge, I started my morning with vegan chicken and waffles from this bougie restaurant in LA. I then grabbed a vegan carne asada taco. For lunch, I had my life changed when I got a burger and a milkshake from this place that is basically the vegan version of In-N-Out Burger. I never would have known this was vegan. For dinner, I decided to go to a vegan pasta place and I got the carbonara. Well, that was my day of eating and I guess I'm a vegan now. Only eat sandwiches for an entire day. You guys are seriously going to ruin my stomach, but challenge accepted. To begin my day of carb eating, I had a croissant breakfast sandwich. I then made my way over to my favorite sandwich spot in all of LA, Carla Cafe. This place is kind of a secret, but since we're friends, I decided to let you in on it. By the time dinner came around, the last thing I wanted to do was eat a sandwich, but I turned on my yeast mode and ate it anyways. Even though my stomach was going awry, I finished my day with an ice cream sandwich for dessert. I know I was on a roll today, but I think I'm ready to go gluten-free. Only eat foods that are the color purple today. Well, challenge accepted. Today's challenge kind of started on a rough note when I got a purple latte and then I tripped and dropped it. In hopes of picking myself back up, I went and got an acai bowl. I then sort of fell back down again because I spent three hours driving around LA looking for purple foods and all I could find were two ube ice cream. To make up for the lost time, I decided to go to a soda shop and get a bunch of purple candy and a grape soda. This meal definitely revived me but probably took a few years off my life.